Welcome, everybody, to Rocket Lads on a Saturday night. We have two exciting teams playing to uh, back up. It's a bad start today. We got Pico DeGolo versus Diane Dish. But one of the extra special features of tonight's match is not the match itself. It's who is casting with me. We have Spriggs in this uh, casting booth with us tonight. Say hello, Spriggs. Hello. Thank you for that introduction, James. Um, you know, my fellow gamers, it's nice to see you enjoying Rocket League. You know, let's get some Pog W's in the chat. Um, but I think the real side of the show is our, you know, studio. Um, Jagudicon in the studio, doing all this for you guys. So, um, we're going to see an exciting match, right, James? Yeah, absolutely. This is going to be good. Um, very close teams in stats for the season right now. Pico de Golo and Dion Dish. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about how they're doing the season stat-wise? Well, real, like, they've both been pretty, you know, the same page. Uh, they both have one win, right? Um, we, yep. Me and James took a look at the stats, right? And basically, uh, both teams are pretty evenly matched. We did say that um, Dun Dish, uh, Pico de Gala has a little bit of an advantage just due to their player skill, skill levels and such. But we're going to be... Oh, I've been kicked by the party, apparently. They do not want me here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get in. I'm, I'm still in the game. Um Good. But um, essentially, they, they, they basically, it's kind of neck and neck, but we surmise that Pico Bowl has a little bit of an edge. But we'll see. It all comes down to Rocket League and this match and the other two matches, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Just looking at the stats here quick, I mean, uh, they're extremely close, as you're saying. I mean, shots average per game, Diane Dish with six, Pico Del Gol with 7.2. Three about approximately shots conceded all around six as well. In the chat, it looks like everyone's. Some people are starting to get their votes in. Some people saying Pico de Golo on four. Some people saying Pico de Golo on five. But the preference is definitely leaning towards Pico de Golo to win it tonight. Mm -hmm. Yep, but as we predicted, we're geniuses, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. If Don, if Don and Dish is able to, you know, Don and Dish this, you know, Golo out, or is uh, Pico de Golo is going to show them that they're spicy, not mild. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, this is some hot salsa. And uh, keep in mind, everyone, they both have one series win, but Pico de Gola has one more match to play in this Seems round like we're some advantage. And we're going to get started here. I'll take care of play-by-play -play -play, uh, for game one. Blue Suede Shoes wins the kickoff. Martian is there, gets an awkward flip. And it misses the ball, but it's cleared away to safety. Achilles goes up, hits that into the offensive zone. Martian with a great touch to keep that from going to their defensive end, popping it out. Lego tries to follow it up. He gets this to center, but nobody's there. Martian and Eagle double commit on that, unfortunately. Lego's going into the corner quite patiently to see how we can play this out. Blue Suede Shoes sh sh gets beaten. This is a bit of a 1v1 now. Achilles comes and cuts off the play. JC Newby is saved, doesn't have to save that goal. Man, unfortunately, just, you know, uh, nothing happening right now. Just been back and forth, back and forth. Again, showing that these teams are pretty even. Right, both wins, both the same. We're going to see yeah. how which one gets the edge, though. Absolutely. JC Doomy with a nice little touch, keeping the offensive pressure going here. Uh, Martian is scrambling back. That's an awkward touch for him. Let's see if Achilles can punish him. Try and get it around. 50-50 goes his way. JC Newby passes it off the backboard. Nobody's there. A bit of a soft touch. Blue Suede Shoes comes in. He's going to try and put the center. Just a little too much power on it, though. Lego's going to crowd that ball, do a little wave dash, see if he can gain control of it. Achilles there, quickly there to 50-50 it. Almost gets the open that shot right there, but it goes too high off of his car. Eagle. Yeah, that was a great uh, uh, effort by them. The problem is that they're not, not their whole team is getting those shots, man. It's, um, if you know that JC actually has one. Oh my oh, god! Oh, there it is! Achilles puts them on the scoreboard. And Dian Dish is up by one. You know so what Achilles, happens here? I, I think Achilles just got a great touch. No one was in net. Um, and a lot of them were just kind of, uh, you know, double committing and such. Achilles definitely yeah. going to be the top scorer. 37.50% um, um, in their wins. <laughs> Rather, their goal, their goals is about um, 0 0.881 uh, per game. Right. Um, right. Not the top score, obviously, but can get the job done. Absolutely, well, he's doing it tonight. Lego gets that cleared out just before his life ends and for a few seconds. 
<laughs> what? Well, yeah, Eagle go. beats him on the 50-50. That's a surprise, but it's just off the crossbar. Almost what an effort. Eagle, though, not giving up on the play. Gets another shot. Gets a side touch off the wall. He's backing off now. See if Martian can come in and do something. Martian does get the shot, but it's blocked. JC Noob is going to take this out of his corner. But Lego's there to challenge. 50-50 is back and forth. That ball is floating. Nobody wants to go for it. It seems like they're scared of it. It's not diseased. You can hit it. <laughs> JC, stop. Stop waiting around. It's the ball's not going to come to you, man. <laughs> yeah. Lego with a oh, bullet. Man. That sneaks in the corner pocket. You know, I think Eagle almost saved that by accident. He was just kind of there, and then he, he couldn't really control it. But, you know, sneaks it over him, which is good. That's good. Yeah, Achilles tried to dodge him to that just a hair of a second too late. And now it's 1-1 with 2.51 to go. JC Newby, Lego with a kickoff. Lego misses uncharacteristically. Maybe that was ball part of the plan. Martian trying to crowd that. Blue Suede Shoes tries to pop it center. Misses the touch, though. Lego's going to play this out. He's got a solo play. Nice little pre-flick. Gets it over one, but JC Newby's there. Achilles going to follow this up. See if he can get on target. Just misses. He's going to be kicking himself over that one. Achilles showing that, you know, the Achilles oh. tendon is his weakness. Oh, 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 never mind, man. Well, that was a surprise. That just bounced off the ceiling and went in, didn't it? Man, no one, like, you know, everyone's kind of like, where was the ball, Ben? I, uh, yeah, I, you know, awkward 50-50, too. Who can predict that? Mm -hmm. And maybe they right. assume that the teammates were behind them as well, right? Like, that also we're... could have been a shot. Where it's like, I miss. I want my other teammate to go there and try to get the pickup for it, right? Right, and then we're exactly half, a little half over halfway Ooh, through the game now. 2-1 lead. Martian with a nice pro ball pressure offensively. Lego here, he's got tons of open space. JC oh, Newby can't man. get there in time. It's a goal, 2-2. Two, two. You cannot let Lego get that pressure on you, man. He has uh, like a 35% chance, chance of shooting. Every time, man, you're taking a 33% a, a chance, he's not gonna, he's going to score, right? Like, so you can't let him have that space. I mean, when you give him an open net, the odds go way up, too. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lego is definitely one of the best in our league. Martian plays that slowly out of his corner. Awkward touch, though, gives JC Newby the ball. He's going to try and play the center. Let's see if he can get a touch on it. That's a little outside of his skill range at this moment. Blue Suede Shoes uh, commits him to the corner, but isn't able to get it. Now Blue Suede and Achilles both up. Trying to get it on target, but this keeps bouncing left and right in the, the in the offensive crease. Lego gets that over one, over two. Achilles oh. putting that away from danger. Nice Couldn't shot. get the second touch, eh? He was trying for it. He was vying for it, but he didn't get it. Yeah, valiant effort. That's going to be played into the defensive zone for Pico de Golo. Nice clear by Blue Eagle, Suede though. Shoe. Yeah, it was Blue Suede Shoes, so fast playing up on that. Achilles turning out real quick. Lego sees it coming, and he blocks that. But Blue Suede Shoes with the pressure, another block. Pico de Golo uh, a little bit uh, stuck in their end, but they're doing great with the defensive blockades. Mm. Well, you know, realistically, right? If you're always in your back end, you're going to have to defend, right? <laughs> and the score might say you got a lot of saves, but maybe you weren't playing that well. JC Newby with a beautiful clear into the corner. This might be something if they can go quick on it. Nice 50 uh, 50. Let, oh, Achilles loves that corner pocket shot, but can't get it off. It's blocked by Lego again. Ooh. Eagle misses it. Martian uh, misses it. Oh, Lego does not miss it. Almost a triple whiff we had there. You know, you shouldn't get in those situations, man. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, it always happens that way. One person whiffs, and the teammate gets whiffed by their, or gets faked out by their own other teammate because they weren't expecting that whiff, and it's just a bad series of events. But now Achilles has some offensive pressure. Lego pops right. it high and clear. Blue suede shoes oh, has an open good. shot. Martian saves it and clears it away. Unfortunately, he got bumped, so he couldn't follow up on that ball, right? Like that was just the unfortunate reality of trying to stop someone from shooting. That's right. Oh, that's an awkward touch. Oh, Jason Newby's gonna punish. Oh. All right, break it down. What happened here? I think JC was like, this might go in, man, and because he's just a newer player, he doesn't know the bounces as well. He's like, you know, I better try and save this, and unfortunately that ended up with his, you know, the angle on the ball not being the greatest. Yeah, and you see there that uh, I think Achilles wanted the ground touch to go uh, off his car and maybe have a boomer, but it just missed it, and that's not good either. Oh, this is the second no. own goal in a row. This you game know? is being given away to Pico de Golo. <laughs> You know, a team doesn't have, you, you can take the uh, the award for most own goals. I, maybe it's something you want or not. I don't think your team appreciates it, but whatever. We're going to have to ask if Jakutakon to manually keep a stat tracker for every own goal in this league. But only season. for JC Newby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jakutakon's saying there's too many of them. It's hard to keep track. Uh, oh, but let's okay. see here. Uh, Jason, Blue Suede Shoes going to clear that out. This is actually a great offensive attack for them, but Martian playing Maybe it away to safety. What a good, calm, mechanical play. 
Blue suede shoes with a nice pinch. Goes mid. Achilles. Oh, Achilles. Ooh, beautiful. This is not over play. yet, eh? This is not over yet. It's not over till the fat lady sings, they say. That may be a politically incorrect statement now. I don't know, but that's what they say. And so, the two seconds ago, one goal. Lego. All right. Lego Jason Newby. Let's see what happens. Anybody's going to do it. It's like smart. Someone's got to be there quick. Oh, oh, Achilles can't get up on it. And the game one goes to Pico to Golio. <laughs> All right. So, you know, in that game, we saw some good stuff. We got some bad, bad stuff. But as we, you know, predicted, Pico Gallo took that pretty handily. It wasn't... We were some back and forth. And realistically, that last goal kind of misplay. <laughs> but they got it. They got it, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. I'd say uh, Pico Del Golo definitely got away with one here. Um, I mean, if you just take away those two own goals, it's actually a Dine and Dish win 2-3. So... Hopefully they don't get too overconfident. Hopefully Dian Dish isn't too uh, disappointed. <laughs> I find that they're two were like they're two lower ranked players, Martian and JC. It's a very different dynamic. Well, Martian's very um, you know, passive as a player. JC Newbie's always in the battle, always in the fight, and you might want one, you might want the other. But in general, I think that's what happened was the, you know, JC Newbie was too much in too involved in a lot of the plays that maybe he shouldn't have been, right? Um but that, yeah, that's what kind of my analysis of that. JC Newby, a very defensive player, as you were mentioning uh, pre-stream, actually, with uh, how many? Only one goal in the season, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. having a pretty one of the lowest percentages in the league, which is uh, 0 0.06 uh, goals per game. Well, you know, if that is not always bad. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> It shows what the kind of player the player is, defensive or offensive, right? So game two, we're excited to have Spriggs trying his first time on play-by-play, -play, so let's I listen in. I forgot I was doing that. <laughs> a switch. Right. This is all, all right. brand new. That's when I'm good at, at talking a lot. Let's do this. All right, Lego and Lego and Blue Suede. Oh, Lego Demling Blue Blue's boots, man. He's got it. All right, yeah. Achilles getting that uh, weird. I don't understand what that pinch was. Uh, Lego taking it up to the blue side. Unfortunate. Blue Suede just pushing him back. They're in a hard leap. Oh, Achilles one. taking it up. Ah, Woo. Martian, solid defender. JC New. Nice. Oh, a little just bit of a cupcake. Okay. <laughs> that was brutal to see. Achilles wanted a better flick on that, I think. And JC Newby had the open net, but just off the post. Exactly, man. That's unfortunate. Wrong, uh, the car was in the wrong place at the wrong time for him. Um, okay, we see Blue Spade taking it up, but the Eagle's going to try and pass it in the center, but not getting a great touch on the ball. Um, let's see, Lego taking it up. He's passing it. Oh, but Blue Suede, the double commit by the two blue players, um, blocking that attempt. But Eagle coming in, he's going to try and pass it to his teammate. Oh, incredible block by JC Newby. Nice job, man. Yeah, um, I'm Achilles and Jabusu issues with a couple double commits happening in a row here now. That's a sign of the pressure. They're getting nervous. And that's almost back. an own goal. Ooh, ooh and uh, it, oh, nice job by Blue. Getting that out of danger, pushing it away. A fantastic clear by him. Uh, Lego, yeah. he's going to try and maybe get a, a dribble on it. Oh, Blue squeak. Demo. Unfortunate getting that oh, demo. No. Oh, someone able to make a play on this? Oh, oh. Eagle missed it. Eagle, that was an open net. He almost got the go ahead goal. Um, okay, Achilles, uh, unfortunately, Lego denying that dribble attempt. Oh, that is, is uh, a dangerous shot. Ooh. Nice job, Martian. He's the blocker of this team, man. He's got it. Looks like it's uh, Dianjish's turn. They they were in the offensive zone or defensive zone for the first minute, and now they're putting the putting the screws to uh, Pico de Golo here with their own I think, offensive I think pressure. They maybe had some time in the locker room to talk shot. about it, and now you know they got it. They got it under lock. All right, JC Newby, man, uh, a weird touch on it. He's landed in the other goal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's a nice center. Ach Achilles, fantastic. Oh, well. Maybe that was the best player they were looking for. Great pass. Uh, oh, Martian, unfortunately, missing that air that aerial shot. Um, Lego's going to try and take it up. Ooh, he's going to try and center it for his teammates. Unfortunately, no one was able to make uh, make it off on that play. JC taking it up. Unfortunate, a cupcake of a shot. Trying to get some power. Unfortunately, not getting it. <laughs> That's uh, a good one. It's a cupcake of a shot. It was very gentle. <laughs> the Lego, now the second oh, touch. Lego nice. carrying it. Amazing play by Lego. Just carrying it above the the cretins below you know what i mean <laughs> yeah this is beautiful lego just controlling that boost perfectly getting that extra shot goes over jc newby they have two men that trying to keep it from going out but he just threads the needle fantastic play by him uh okay jc oh nice it's like sort of flick allowing achilles to get another shot on it uh unfortunate eagle 
blocking that shot. Uh, JC Newbie, he's being a little bit more offensive. He's getting his shots, his accuracy's going up. That's really gonna help him, the, you know, the percentage department. Blue Sway getting these demos. <laughs> I think I'm Lego's gonna. Gonna... that. Lego's, Dian Dish you know... actually doing that more now. Dian Dish is starting to demo Lego whenever he gets the ball. It's two times this game now, and I think it's. It's a method that'll work, taking out that main offensive threat. They're taking advantage of that one less car on the field, getting them a little bit more breathing room, right? It, it's essentially a three-second power play. Exactly. I mean, I'm not too into cocky, but, you know, it's called a power play and not a power delay, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, JC Newby, always with the ball. He's going to try... Oh, like, he doesn't go for it, but Achilles has the boost. He's taking it up. Um, Lego uh, winning that 50-50 over blue. Uh... All right, he's going to try and pass it to Eagle. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah. Achilles able to take it out of danger. He's carrying it up. He's got he no boost, though. Boost is what he's going to do with I think he this. wanted to pinch it there. I think he wanted to pinch with blue suede shoes, but they right. just missed, unfortunately. Pinching right. is dangerous, though, because it can go wrong. Oh, Martian. What a beautiful shot. Amazing play, my Martian, man. Woo! Oh, that was spicy. I mean, look at this. Martian gets the air roll, comes off the wall, reads it perfectly with that little dodge to the side. Post down, crossbar did, down, pardon me. You know what? Don't call him Martian. Call him the Martian Manhunter, man, because nothing's scaring him. No, he's been bold this series. All right, Eagle's going to try and take that. Oh, oh accidentally pushing his teammate. Unfortunate. JC Newby. Oh, that was a good play by JC Newby. Unfortunately, he didn't really get the greatest touch on it and the most power on it. But, you know, he's trying. He's trying. That's what we want. Lego. Nice shot. Amazing play by Lego. Taking it up. Shooting it in, you know, that's what he's good at. You know, those simple plays like that. Yeah, you know, Lego not being fancy here, but not waiting for the bounce. He interrupts mm -hmm. it, and JC Newby caught a little bit forward, on, not on the goal line, leaving that near crease open, and uh, Lego punishes. And that gives a good sign of rotations that you need to, mm -hmm. if you're not in position, that's that's a killer, man. That's how good teams win, and how, that's how bad teams lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Lego with a little wave dash and then a flick. Wow. Mm -hmm. This guy plays Rocket League a certain amount. Oh, oh. no! Eagle! The luckiest shot imaginable hitting it, and it just right. bouncing in, man. All right, we got to pause here, because something's happening with Dian Dish. Their defensive uh, rotations are breaking down. They had a double kick from JC Newby and Blue Suede Shoes, and that's why two of them are put out of the play. That's left. Achilles, he made an awkward touch, but once you have an awkward touch and a double commit, there's no one there to recover. How do you feel about um, Blue's performance, though? I think he's been doing very well. I think overall he's been doing well. Unfortunately, I think it's just awkward touches in the ball and awkward touches. Oh, man. And again, that's a little Lego. too slow to the defensive rotation. He just... It, it, you're giving him easy shots, and Lego doesn't mess those up often. No, I, I mean, I, credit to Lego because these aren't just, you know, gimmies. These take yeah. precision, but he's been given a lot of space to make these shots, too. Exactly. And you can't give him that. You can't give him that. Any player no. can do wonders with an open net. <laughs> All right, JC, man, he's trying to push on the pressure. Going to show that he is not, you know, the worst player. <laughs> Eagle, oh, unfortunately, whiffing that uh, Martians. This is an opportunity gonna... for Dying Dish. Unfortunately, I don't know what they're going to do with only, you know, zero second. Uh, sorry, zero points. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, 15 seconds left. It's true. 15 seconds, but you know, anything can happen in Rocket League. Just depends. Lego. He's carrying it up the wall. Is he going to try and do, you know, oh, trying to do a flick reset on the ball. Achilles taking it up, trying to get at least one. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Too. <laughs> Look at Wayne saying, uh, J Lego showing no mercy to his former teammate, JZ Newbie. <laughs> and that's true with a hat trick, Lego. Look at these shots. Uh, Pico to goal, out shooting Dying Dish 9 to 5. And, uh, you know, in Dian Dish, their shots were on target, but Pico de Golo's defense standing firm. And it's not even us, like, they were on target as well as I find the shots were, like, didn't have much power to it. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of the time, the shots were, you know, 40, 50 kilom kilometers per hour. Um, uh, you know, it, it seemed like that, right? I think yeah. they got to put more power on the ball, got to be, you know, rotate a little better, because a lot of the time they're catching them without anybody in net, without anybody on back post, um, and no challenges to be made. So we're yeah. going to have to see what happens in game three. Absolutely. You know, a lot of these weak shots, they, this, the source problem of a weak shot 
is usually that you don't have the proper follow-up or the setup to get power on that shot. Maybe you're awkward, maybe you're playing up too close. So often it's not so much the shot power that's a problem, it's what leads up to that contact with the ball. So let's see if they can get their rotations down, maybe set up some passing plays, learn to be more aware of where their teammates are for game number three. We're going to throw back to me for play-by-play -play and have uh, Spriggs take care of color commentary again. Thank you very much, Spriggs, for doing that for us tonight. And uh, everyone in chat, give them a little uh, round of virtual applause. Thanks, guys. It means a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know uh, what? We're going to just see how this works out, man. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So game number three, Lego, Achilles, Battle of the Titans. Blue suede shoes and Martian take the first kickoff, though. Achilles ready to read that. He's going to pressure that mid. Lego's going to clear it away to safety high up. JC Ooh. Newton with a nice shot on target. But Eagle is there to save it. Blue Suede Shoes tries to keep the offensive pressure going, but it just uh, sneaks by him. Eagle now, he's not wasting any time bringing that around center. Fortunately, they're able to save it away. Achilles oh, so out of position, uh, near side. But Blue Suede was there to pick it up, man. He's a very solid defenseman. Um, yeah. he, un he understands nice very pinch. well where he has to be, where he's got to go. And he's just a j overall really good player. Um, always, you know, saving it. He has a, a one that's safe in every game, man. He's got it. Yeah, that's true. And uh, now uh, Pico de Gola with the offensive pressure. Achilles is going to get a soft touch. He goes up, but doesn't really have a lot to follow it up. It end up, ends up being a giveaway. Blue suede shoes puts it to the corner. They're going to buy him a couple seconds there. Amazing with another touch. By him, Good job, Ooh. Achilles being there to follow it up. But Martian with a deadly 50 50. And Lego's putting it put into offensive pressure again. Oh. Nice demo. Achilles there, gonna put it away to safety, give his time, give his team some time to breathe. This is his spot, but he misses over his head. Looks like he's having a bit of awkward uh, trouble with the controls there. JC yeah. Newby puts it to the corner. This could be a passing play. He can get one more on it, and that's it. Blue suede yeah. shoes puts it center. Oh. Achilles. Ooh. Oh, it's just off the post. Uh, it's not I'm going in. That was a close one. Man, definitely being saved by the bell there, you know what I mean? I have to I have to say though, um, Lego definitely a player that understands the importance of a demo. Um, generally because he always gets a demo every game. He's you know always inflicting demos and such. 1.1.23 uh, demos per game. Um, so he knows when to demo, when it's important, and essentially like yeah, like why why you demo as well. Because some players just demo and they no one's in net, there's nothing you can get off of it, right? Absolutely. But awkward there. Uh, <laughs> Pico Logo with Golo kind of left the ball for Dynandish there for a bit. Uh, but now they got the attack. JC Newby with a critical block. Mark saving him really going down one goal. Oh, yeah, look. true. Oh, that's not a great center, though. That's not that's a great center. To JC Newby, though. Blaze Blue Suede Shoes interrupts that. Maybe even better for him to leave that for his third man back, seeing as he was coming from behind the ball. But that's a nice center to Lego. He's able to get a shot on target, but it's just a little bit high. JC Newby with a nice shot. Off target. Let's see if they can follow this up. Blue Suede Shoes is up. He's at an awkward angle. Can't get the touch. That leaves it for JC Newby. It's back up in the air. Achilles can't go in because both of his teammates are up. He wants to real bad, though. And this is just hanging out in the corner pocket. Achilles pops it slowly mid. Eagle passes it to Lego. Nice defensive passing plays. JC Newby. There. Yeah, he's there. He's a stalwart defenseman. Yeah. Achilles with nice shot on target, but a little too weak. Lego's there ready for it. On offense, he's a little shaky, but on defense, you can always count on him to at least save, you know, the, the shots that matter, right? Yeah, good job, Blue Suede Shoe, not giving the way, ball away there. The 50 50, though. Achilles is going to get a nice booming clear to the corner. He's going for the demo, maybe? No, he's going for the ball. And that goes center. That's almost going in. Lego almost own goals it, but it stays out of the net. <laughs> Martian's saying calculated in chat. I think they had a bit of a heart attack there. You know what, Martian, man? You know, he's. He's been doing amazing. I feel like his touches have been really superb. There has been a few that's been kind of questionable, but he's really showing that he is a part of this team and not to be reckoned with. I go for nice center. Or rather, RT911 RT <laughs> in chat asking, what did I miss? Well, you've currently been missing uh, Dynandish being robbed of goals just off the post. So let's see if that trend continues. Oh, this is another one floating Eagle's right in center. Shot. Eagle can't get the shot. Lego's going to put it center. Let's see, they're blocking the defense, oh. they're all zero boost, they can't do anything about it, Lego puts it in! Oh, man, the first goal, and that's been like, like, three minutes of no goals up until then. I don't know how, um, Dundish is gonna eat themselves out of that, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know what, the, the, this kind of goal, it's not about the shot, it's about the 15 seconds leading up to that goal. Starved of boost, 
offensive pressure and the defense is left just reeling in net waiting for the shot and hoping they can get in the way of it yeah everyone they're just kind of throwing each other throwing each other at the ball right i find a lot of the time if you're not in position it again throwing oh, you're no, not achilles bumps him achilles unfortunately everyone's kind of diving on net here a little bit of Okay, no double oh. commands. Blue suede shoes. See, saved by blue suede shoes, not double committing that shot with Achilles. Gonna go by him a few more seconds, but this is dangerous too. No boost, another double commit, JC Newby and Achilles. They're bumping each other in the corner now. Achilles. That's the out center. Lego is a shot. Blue suede, suede shoes so up. Yeah, blue suede shoes being a savior getting that out of their zone though. He can't oh. get the touch he wants oh. to get the offensive oh. pressure going in the corner though. Blue suede shoes flopping around a bit in the corner, trying to get some, some, some something going there, but Achilles sees JC Newby whiffs on that ball. He's going to start the offensive pressure. That's a nice shot, man, just off target. He's going to follow that ball. Blue suede shoes going to bring it center again, but that's a roller. Easy for Lego to put it away. One goal. Achilles with a nice center. Blue suede oh, shoes blue, can't get no. around on it, just barely. Achilles puts it center again. One more shot. Lego's going to put it away. That's it's up the wall, though. Let's see if they can keep it going. A little bit of a weak clear. Oh, blue, blue suede shoes nice. has it. Eagle. Oh, oh and Martian puts Martian it down. Down, man. Nice job. Game three goes to Pico de Golo. What? Pico de Golio. Pardon my par terrible grammar. Don't worry. It's it's. I believe it's Italian. I can't remember that stuff anyway. <laughs> I believe the. So name looking at the stats here, Pico de Golo. Um, Diana just actually outshot them five to four. Lego with all the offensive pressure, mm -hmm. and uh, you can tell that was a close game. Uh, Pico de Gold didn't have the same offensive force as they did in the first two, but it was enough to get them through it. And Pico de Golo sweeps Dine and Dish. Um, and so the new poll is up. Who was the MVP of tonight's match? Uh, the votes are coming in. Lego is taking it. It looks like by a storm with his his dominant performance and a couple of a little votes for JC Newby too. He uh, you know he was a defensive stalwart player. I gotta say the the they aren't wrong, right? Le Lego was the shining star of that the game. In every game, he was top scorer. He was the top. He's the top dog. You know what I mean? And they mm -hmm. Lego really really leaded his team to victory in that match. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we always try and look for the uh, underdog thing here, but sometimes it's just the player's too good. Legos, he's just he's just too good. What can you do? Like, and you like, just gotta cry about it and move on. I found it just like like our kind of prediction was kind of right, where it, it generally their best player wasn't able to like mount over the other team's best player, right? And right. um, it's not even that it's their rotations were solid as a team. Remember, as a team, that's when it matters. And it seems like yeah. as a team, they worked better. Pico de Golo worked better in rotations, in passing, in shooting, in saving, mm -hmm. everything, man. Yeah, absolutely. Now, to get a, a, a quick summation of the league now, uh, that means that Pico de Golo is now 2-2. Two and two. They were 1-2 and two before with three matches. This is their fourth series match of round robin. That puts them at 2-2, two and two, even series win record. And Diane Dish falls to 1-4, and four, unfortunately. Uh, so they are going to be down near the bottom with Bros before boost and uh, 98 bulls. So it'll be interesting to see which one of them will be in the wild card coming up soon. Yeah, and then, you know, that's how teams get eliminated, man. The wild card, got to watch out for that, man. And yeah. realistically, um, they get booted off. You know, it kind of sucks for the people who are new to the league, right? Because I believe um, Martian and Eagle are newer players, right? And maybe their first or their first, like, games or so. So, yep. um, you know, you, know, you got to get good. <laughs> <laughs> get good and that's really the point of this tournament right is to help our our players rise the ranks and improve and learn team play so uh correct me if i'm wrong jakutakon it looks like our next match will be two days from now so that puts us at monday at 8 30 gold diggers versus dunk squad yeah i think right. there might be a game tomorrow but nothing confirmed that's right so the next confirmed match will be monday at 8 30 p.m Gold Diggers versus Dunk Squad. Stay tuned for that, eh, folks? Come on, that's going to be a really cool game. You know what I mean? But if it's not Ender Boys, I don't know if it's worth watching. <laughs> uh, RT911 saying, give us them boost efficiencies. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I have that stat. Um, everyone had a 44 percentage. I don't, be you know, I don't believe it, man. It's what the stat stats say, and I don't think you guys will check. So they all have <laughs> So we're going to have to rely on Sprague's numbers to be yeah. right. 
it looks like. And they're yeah. always right. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, I'm guess I guess those might be updated, like Kudukan was mentioning too. <laughs> Uh, the votes are actually changing a bit. Lego's still holding on with 55% of the vote for MVP. Oh, they are? Let me go check. Uh... And while, while, while Spriggs is looking, we can confirm that Lego does have the win with 50, 56% of the votes for MVP. But Martian getting a vote, Achilles getting a vote, and JC Newby getting a couple votes in there too. So um, I'm, I'm taking a look at Achilles because he's, he's A, right? And I think it's the easiest thing to look. Um... You know, his boost percentage is time with 100 boost is of around 21 seconds, right? 21 seconds overall mm -hmm. in the game, in his games, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, in the, and it, what's interesting about that fact is that realistically, when you have 100 boost, you either save it or burn it out quick because you need that boost of speed. Um, well, with a lot of the other players, it's marginally lower because um, Achilles is one of the better players on Dine and Dish, right? He's a little, mm -hmm. you know, he, a lot of other players um, take the full boost instead of the pads, right? And we saw in the game that Achilles was grabbing those pads, so that's why he was able to make it to the ball and touch the ball more than, let's say, you know, JC Newby or Eagle, right? Right. So, Gold Diggers versus Dunk Squad on Monday night each have three wins this season. Dunk Squad has two losses, Gold Diggers with one loss, so fairly strong teams in the league. I'm excited to see how that match goes, so Everyone can tune in back in a couple days and uh, watch these guys start the separation because so far the, the league has a couple people right at the bottom and a couple people way up top as powerful teams, but Dunk Squad and Gold Diggers, very uh, middle pack right now, and they're going to be able to differentiate themselves come Monday. You know, and, you know, we'll, we'll be here, man. We'll be here. I mean, there might be different casters, but come on. We yeah. did pretty well, so I think they'll have us back. <laughs> I might not be here, but we'll all be here. Yeah, that makes I'm sure. Yeah. We love having, you know, people, you know, you know, get go into the terms and stuff. So if you're ever thinking about joining Rocket Lads, feel free, man. Feel free to sign up for, you know, season four, right? If you're a newer player, just checking out the stream. Um, Shurikon, can we get uh, can we get the winning team in for an interview quick, or do we gotta get going? Yeah. All right, let's get him in here. One, two, three. We have with us Pico de Golo, the winning team of tonight's match. First off, Lego, how you feeling? Is Lego here? He left. Everyone left. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone left. <laughs> Lego, come back. Okay, it was disconnecting. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do anything if Discord decides to crap out on me. Uh, uh, okay, come on, you're the best player. So, Lego, the first question was to you. Lego, how do you feel about tonight's match? I feel great. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. To so get it good. done in three, but uh, teammates really stepped up here too. Um, yeah, I, I sent them like a, a rotational video like a day before, and they they got it pretty down pat. So I'm happy awesome. with the way that we played tonight. Yeah, and speaking of your teammates, to to Eagle, uh, how did you feel working with your teammates with these new rotation strats? Uh, I I thought it went really well. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't argue with the results. <laughs> right, right. Clean uh, sweep, clean sweep. On defense and offensively, we we had a lot of opportunities rotating in and out. So yeah, I think I if we can just capitalize on them more. Mm -hmm. We'll be really good. But yeah, definitely yeah. A contender for for the the championship this season. And over to Martian. Martian, you're considered the lowest ranked player on your team, but you stepped up tonight. How do you feel about your performance? Uh, I don't want to be too like. I uh, can't think of the right word, but boastful. You won, dude. Come on. Better than I am. But <laughs> I feel like I Bad have improved a whole bunch. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I have improved, and it's I couldn't do it by myself without my really good teammates. You know what, but man? We you, we can tell, man. We can tell. Good job. I gotta say, I got a question for all of you. On a scale of one to ten, how easy was those games? <laughs> no, it's a dangerous mm. question. That's a dangerous question, yeah. Play it safe, Lego. Play it safe. Uh, I can say game two was a, was a 10 out of 10, but... Um, <laughs> no. It was a tight I matchup mean, throughout the It was the a thing. tight, yes. You both yeah, won. Yeah, I mean, that third win was a one nothing win, too. That was, yeah. that was close the entire way. Yeah, it was a close game. All right. Well, we're going to... we're gonna. Go, sorry, go ahead, Eagle. Oh, I was just... I was going to say, I think we just happened to get our best player 
on their third player a lot, and that helps. I'm sorry, oh, JC. <laughs> I am sorry, JC. Listen, some of those shots were meant to be passes. They just happened to have the angle. I I can't do anything. <laughs> Bro, love hurts. Drag him through the fire. That's only how he's going to learn, all right? And speaking okay, of dragon, we're going to now drag the team out of this uh, chat because it is time to oh, call no. it a night. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks to everyone for joining us for the stream tonight. It was great. Why? Thanks to the players for participating. Thanks to Jakutacon for the production. Spriggs for helping me out with Kasten. Thanks hey, to man. myself for being awake. Um, <laughs> and that's about it. Well, we'll see you later, Rocket Lad fans. Yeah, have Catch a good night, everybody. See you soon.